Hey guys, Flavien Vidal with Amagasaki Motor. So now we're with a 1991 Subaru Sambar Extra S. I'm not sure what the Extra S stands for, but that's what it says on the sticker. So anyway, uh, really, really cool Kevin. Pretty much the most desirable one that you can get. Uh, this one is not four-wheel drive. It's only two-wheel drive. But it's still like the, the level of uh, detail and the level of um, like the quality of uh, Subaru and uh, at the time in the 90s really 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 good compared to, to other k -Vans. So uh, as you can see like the fabric, I'm gonna go like, right away for once with the good points. The, the quality of the, of the fabric here, it's a bit dirty but the, the quality of the seat, the quality of everything, the material used in general uh, for, for K-Trucks and K-Vans and everything with like Subaru is by far the best, uh, the one that withstand the, the test of time the, the best. So you can see like the, no holes, no not weak at all, like everything really really strong. So, so yeah, uh, but two-wheel drive one, so like for, for city use and everything. Uh, so, bad points. So first, as you can see, lights a little bit yellowed. So, well, you're gonna want to uh, to clean it up if you're motivated. Uh, but well, you can still like that. Another point. Uh, what else is bad? Yeah, here, a little bit old. The glue that uh, or whatever was holding the, the rain protection here, not fantastic. Uh, and another point. Yeah, here, little rust point. Uh, that's actually been repaired and yeah it's not even deep or anything it's just been badly repaired actually uh, but that's pretty much it uh, also bumper scratches uh, so here apparently there was some scratch here in the past and the past owner did well a eh, <laughs> rather average job to, to fix up the, the bumper for the side is clean uh, as usual with uh, K car, K trucks, or everything, the, the wipers are like uh, have some surface rust, so you might want to like just uh, polish it and well, polish it like sand it and repaint it. Uh, what else? So, same for the rear, obviously. Stickers are old and faded. Uh, here, another little mark with <laughs> really, really bad, like uh, you might as well, do you know, just if you left it like that, would have been nicer. Uh, but other than that, concerning the body, that's pretty much the only thing. Ah, here, there's a scratch here too. I don't know if you can see it well, but there's a scratch there. Uh, so, what can we talk about with the car now? Uh, the, the good points. Pull up. Ah, yeah, we have the key here. I'm gonna check if the key actually works on it because I sold the K truck a while back. And well, when it arrived in the US, the, the, the buyer was a bit <laughs> like couldn't yeah it's working it well it doesn't open well if at all yeah oh no it's just really strong but yeah I have access to it but yeah basically when the buyer I, I never filled up the, the tank and uh, when the, the buyer got the, the K truck well he had to call a locksmith to, to access uh, the um, the tank and, and fill it up so from now on I always open the, the gas tank to make sure that well the key works with the key of the gas tank so interior uh, 80,000 kilometer I think it's the actual mileage I'm gonna have to check quickly give me a sec so that's I'm gonna get back inside the magazine I'm gonna get the motor just Yes, mileage appear to be correct. Uh, so starts uh, really well. I, I'm gonna try to start it, but actually, as you can see, I need normally the battery. Ah, it's in gear. It's not gonna help. Yeah. Up. So now it's not. So yeah, I'm not going to, to let it run very long because, uh, well, the, how can I say? Uh, yeah, basically the alternator is dead. So we are waiting for a spare one. 
but now it's working solely on the battery that's under this seat here. So yeah, that's why you get like a bunch of... Oop, but, uh, sorry about that. That's why you get a bunch of uh, like two logos. So you have like uh, the battery one that says that the battery is low. I'm going to turn it off anyway. And the other one is just like make everything fuck up a little bit. So you, you get to see like the exhaust heat. It says basically that the exhaust is too hot even though it hasn't been driven at all. Uh, but uh, yeah, so sensor problem linked to the lack of alternator. Uh, can open it here. So two modes uh, for for this. So here you open. If I can. So give me a sec. I want to remove the headrest. So yeah, here we go. So two modes here. You can first. I did it earlier, but ah, okay. So you fold it like that, and you do the same thing on the other side. That's it. So you can see, fold it like that. Then after, you just take the entire thing and you can put it up front like that so you can store something heavy or whatever and you're gonna be protected by that in case of a crash if you don't care about being protected by something in case of a crash and if you don't mind holding stuff you just ah, shit, that up, headrest, up here like that and that's for the side first actually pull it here up. and check same thing here And ta-da! And you can see that it wasn't cleaned up correctly there. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for that. So lots of space. Really like lots of space. Hop. Put it back. Just as easy. To put it normally. So yeah, really probably the easiest one as you, as you may see on the another video that will be uploaded pretty much at the same time as this one. Uh, when I did the um, Dayatsu Hard Cry video where I couldn't figure out how to make it completely flat, this one is just a lot easier and even if you don't know, you have like schematics just there to, to learn what to do. Alright, well that's about it for the walk around of this one. To show you the interior, original radio, uh, that does not work. Yeah. FM, yay, FM radio, that's modern. Such a better quality. Uh, but yeah, air conditioning is working. Uh, but <laughs> without the uh, with the lack of uh, alternator, I'm not sure it's really safe of to plug it. But uh, well, I will try anyway. So the test drive is going to be really short on this one, simply because I don't know how long. Uh, well, I don't know how long I can drive the car before it's, it just dies on me with no spark. So battery, you can see just there. Didn't like you know, the little cover right there hop, that you put back. And you can, oops, here, it's on. And, uh, hop. So you just like plug it back. Just for safety to give you oh, that's really safe Up. yeah might need a bit of <laughs> protection tape right there all right
right, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna put the license plates on because they're not on, and uh, I'll be right back with quick test drive. See you then. Right, so we are in the sunbar. No alternator. So lots of traffic, unfortunately. Oh shit, could have gone. Air conditioning appeared to be cold. Definitely cold. I'm not going to run it very fast, very, very much because, well, as I told you, uh, we are just on battery. But uh, yeah, air conditioning is cold. So yeah, what can I say? So it's the first time also I drive the truck. So I don't have much. I can say I'm really just discarding so yeah it seems to shift like very well like all gear reverse everything is fine uh, and brake was working well radio appeared to be original and uh, yeah let's see the turning ratio turning radius what? We did warm up the, the car before, uh, but uh, yeah, no, just uh, decent, like really clean, really. As I said, like earlier, like Subarus, I uh, usually have like much better uh, build quality than uh, than other manufacturers, and well, it shows again here. I mean, like. 80,000 kilometer and like the plastics are nice like uh, no cracks the, everything is really really solid and well built uh, yeah they're definitely why they are well they're usually a bit more expensive than uh, well they are more expensive <laughs> than uh, regular um, K vans though this one being a two wheel drive it's still still really cheap it's not uh, But yeah, really a uh, nice little catwalk. Uh, sorry, I cannot really do any longer uh, test drive, but uh, no, really solid and uh, not something you'll be disappointed in buying. Uh, the idling is really smooth. The engine is in the back, so it helps. Like you really don't feel as much vibration as, as usual. So obviously, uh, right now the alternator is uh, uh, dead and does not uh, does not work. But uh, obviously, we are we are waiting for the for the spare part, and it will be changed. My bicycle. I'm going to park it in reverse.
Here we are, really quick test drive. So as usual, if you have any question, don't hesitate to let me know. And uh, well, I'll be happy to to well answer any question you may have. Bye bye.